What's up, ladies and gentlemen? The moment you all have been waiting on. Yes, uh, this this video is going to be about budget phones versus flagships. Now, on the left side, we got the Moto G6 fully unlocked version. Um, you can get this phone from Best Buy, um, Target, Amazon, Project Fi, um, Republic Wireless. You can basically almost anywhere that smartphones are sold. And uh, this phone has uh, three gigs of RAM, 32 um, gigs onboard storage, dual cameras, uh, Android Oreo, Snapdragon 450. All right. And this phone has Samsung Galaxy S9. This is one of the flagships from earlier this year. Um, you can get this from any carrier, basically. Um, also, Texna Wireless sells it <laughs> for lower the price versus everyone else. Uh, this has 4 gigs of RAM, 64 onboard storage. Um, no dual lens, no dual cameras on the back. Got fingerprint on the back. Snapdragon 845. Uh, 5.8 inch screen versus a 5.7 um, Super AMOLED display 1440p that's 1080p uh, USB-C headphone jack USB-C headphone jack um, so yeah they're almost neck and neck except for you know RAM processing and speeds and stuff like that so that's what this video is going to be about so we're going to do some uh, speed tests real quick on apps and RAM management. Uh, so yeah, here we have it guys. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead. So, all right, no further ado, I'm going to show you guys. Recent apps is uh, empty. Let me see right here. Empty, both are empty. All right. All right, so let's get back into it. All right, so... I just picked a few apps that I think normal consumers would use on a daily basis, and I put them all on the main homepage, um, excluding the speed test app. We're going to get into that in a minute. But no further ado, let's go to the phone app. Uh, let me go ahead and brighten this up just a little bit so you can see. All right, there we go. All right, one, two, three. All right. Okay, now the messaging app. One, two, three. All right. Okay, we're going to do a browser. One, two, three. Okay, my bad. I should hit the home button. There we go. Home button. My fault, y'all. Let's redo that. Let's let's go ahead and redo that one real quick. All right. Let's go ahead and clear that out. Okay. All right. So, here we go. One, two, three. All right. All right. So here we go. Uh, email. One, two, three. Okay. All right. So we're going to go do YouTube app. One, two. Gosh. My fault, y'all. My fault. <laughs> my fault. All right. YouTube app. One, two, three. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we're going to do a uh, note take it out. One, two, three. Okay. All right. And we're going to do Facebook. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Now, um, let's do gaming. Okay, now I got to do gaming differently. I got my gaming set up differently on a Samsung Galaxy. So let me find that real quick. Uh, all right, here we go. All right, so Subway Surfer. That's like a typical basic game. One, two, three. Here we go.
All right. Okay, let's see what else we got going on. All right. A lot of people like listening to music, so we're going to do next radio. All righty. One, two, three. Okay. All right. Got that going. All right. So, here we have it. Uh, okay, let's do the App Store. A lot of people go to the App Store. Let's do that. One, two, three. All right. And one more camera app. Everyone likes to take pictures. So, one, two, three. Okay. All right. So, let's see what the RAM management looks like. Um, I know I got a total different, you know, interface going on with the... Oh, shoot. My fault, y'all. I messed that up. <laughs> I got a total different interface going on. Uh, let's see. Here we go. All right. So we're going to start from the phone. All right. Let's see. One, two, three. Okay. Y'all be the judges. All right. Start all the way from the beginning. One, two, three. All right. All right. Here we go to browser. One, two, three. They're both at the reload. So, all right. That's probably a tie with that. All right. Here we go. Uh, Gmail or email. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, here we go. All right, back to the YouTube. See which one got to reload. One, two, three. Yeah, both had to reload on that one. Very hot. All right. Okay. Let's see. All right, let's go to keeps. One, two, three. All right. Not bad, not bad. Who's keeping up? Who's keeping up? Ah, my fault, y'all. Who's keeping up? Let's see. Facebook, one, two, three. Oh, that one had to reload. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Okay, Subway Surfer. Let's see. One, two, three. Ah, he got to reload. <laughs> got to reload on that one. All right. Let's go back down. Go back to the radio app. Per se. One, two, three. Okay, not bad. Not bad. All right, um, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. App Store. Let's see which one got a reload. One, two, three. Wow. Very good, Moto. All right. That is awesome. All right. No slouch right there in that department. Okay. Uh, I think the last one is the camera. All right. So, yep. Last one is the camera. See which camera got to reload. One, two, three. Not bad. It's a tie. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, guys, budget phones are actually catching up with the... Uh, the budget phones are actually catching up with the flagships in RAM management. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, there was a few apps. There was a few apps that you had to reload um, on both sides, so... Uh, give or take, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, which phone do you think really, you know, won um, the battle? Like I said, I was just putting 
Um, oh, okay. So one, my my bad. One more battle. One more battle. Speed test. Speed test. See which one got faster internet speeds. Um, yeah, they both should be on the same network. So we should be all right. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Let's see which one got it. Let's see which got the faster speeds. Might be in the shot. Now you gotta do this like maybe at least twice to figure it out. So looks like the Galaxy phone is in the lead. Oh, it's still going. <laughs> it's still going. Wow, 102 on internet, on Wi-Fi. Okay. Check out those uploads. State. Almost neck and neck. Uploads is almost neck and neck. Oh, whoa. Like the Moto actually got more uploads. Okay. We're gonna do one more. All right, one more for the internet speeds, guys. Here we go. Here we are. Uh-oh. Wow, look like the motor pulled away. Uh-oh. Okay. And that's still going. I wonder why I stopped at 62, though. That's kind of weird. Went up to 104. Uploads look like they're neck and neck. All right. That is crazy. Oh, they neck and neck. Just about. No. Wow. The Moto 1 in uploads. Barely, though. One more. One more test. Finish it off. One more test, guys. Here we go. Wow. The Moto got a lead. The Moto got the lead. Okay. Okay. Wow. Why, why the S9 slowing down? That is weird. But it is still pulling away. It's steady pulling up. Wow. Okay. Okay, that that that's that's insane. Did you see that seven upload? Okay, now it went back down. That's weird. It went back down as soon as the S9 caught back up. That is weird. I guess because they're using it at the same time. Wow. So uploads look like they're better on the Moto G6. I mean, by hair. Okay, my fault, y'all. My fault. All right, so as you can see, I mean, you're still getting good speeds on the Moto G6, but you get like very good speeds on the S9. So it all depends on which one would you rather have. They're both on Android or Yo. Um, one's just, you know, more powerful than the other one, of course. Um, but on your typical day usage, I mean, these are both great devices. I mean, they're all glass back, but one just has an upper hand than the other one when it comes to connectivity and all the different things you can do. I mean, I still, don't get me wrong, I still like the Moto Actions, like the Karate Chop for flashlight, um, Flick of the Wrist for the camera. You know, I still, you know, I still like that stuff. And, you know, you got your little gestures, you know, with the, if it works. <laughs> You still got your little gestures with the, you know, the fingerprint and, you know, I got that little, um, you know, Bigsby stuff going on. But I got Google Assistance on here. And, yeah, I did not do a comparisons with that. But um, give or take, uh, you know, it just depends on your preference, which devices you like. I still like, but I still like Motorola a little bit. But I don't know. It's just something about that Samsung experience. It's just giving me the. The wow factor, you know, the wow. I can't believe this phone is doing all this. But, you know, I can still be happy with the Moto G6, you know, c considering that, you know, you spend like five or $600 on this phone versus just 200 bucks on this phone on any carrier. And, I mean, yeah, you can get the phone unlocked on, you know, Samsung.com and you can go to Best Buy by this phone right out for like 800 bucks. But give or take, I mean, 800 versus 200 Uh I mean, the build qualities are nice. I mean, I still like this wide screen. I still like this slim screen. So, it, it depends on you want to be on a bleeding edge. I mean, this is not the bleeding edge anymore, but it, it depends. So, I don't know, guys. What are your thoughts on budget phones versus flagships? Which one would you rather be satisfied with or rather be happy with that? You got the bang for the bucks based on usage and battery life and software operating and the things you can do with it. all right this is what this is all about the budget versus the flagship leave me your thoughts in the comment section below it's your boy two phones